The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he just got done filming his very first special that is coming soon. I have a date. But not yet. And uh, he is Mr. Mike Baldwin. hey hey What's up? Hi, everybody. Yep. What's up, Scotty? What's there. up, dude? Appreciate the high. Hello. And then also another excellent stand-up comedian. He's the 2021 Funniest Person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek Alders. Uh, yeah, that thing is like oh, yeah. three years old. Hey, buddy. It's not, though. If it's you do math, music. it's 2023. I said like. But it's not. <laughs> it's four months away from being three years that's old. That's like one plus one is like three, but it's not really. Yeah, but that's yeah, a but correct like, statement. One plus one is like three. It's like close to three. No, that's one, a, that's an accurate But it's one point three plus one is like three. Yeah. And that's what that's where we're at now. We're okay. at like two years, several months. Wow. I'm mm-hmm. arguing. See, I'm taking your side. Yeah, I'm arguing mathematics. That, Why? This is stupid. Anyways. Two welcome. plus two is five. <clears throat> right. Uh, but anyways, me wrong. Right. Welcome, everybody, again to another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and current events that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many groups of people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. Yeah. We got a great episode as usual today. We've got some current events to go over. Overrated or underrated, that's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, as always, a draft and a shitty situation to wrap this thing up with. And we haven't uh, we haven't seen Derek at least in a, quite a while. It's been great. I know. I'm yeah. sure it has been. <laughs> I've, 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 yeah. But we would like to start the the show off with our week week recap of what's been happening to us. And I'm going to leave Derek uh, for second. So I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Uh, Are you done with suits yet? No, I have a few episodes left, so don't say anything. I don't, don't worry. I, I have stopped where you are. Okay. And you know why. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I don't want to talk about it until I'm finished. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping for a, like a reunion or something. Doesn't but, happen. Well, see, I, that's why I don't want to fucking talk about <laughs> I, it. I don't. How am I supposed to know, dude? I haven't seen him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm no, still I, watching pants. So you have to tell me. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's the prequel to Suits and Boots. That's boots that's. And pants, God and damn boots, it, that's funny and too. And man. <laughs> I wanted to be like whatever, Derek. But I was like, damn it, clothes jokes. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> They're closers. Oh uh, shit! No, what uh, what have you been up to, Mister Mister Baldwin? Uh, not a whole lot. I got uh, I booked a few comedy dates off in the future, Good. and we have a f- official release date, which is both very exciting and kind of surprising and disappointing because I thought it was going to be like super soon, but it, the official date is December eighth. Really? Yep. They're not putting it out until then. They've they've have like a dozens of comedians that they're working with right now, so mm-hmm. everybody's got a release date, and they're not going to do them all at the same time, of course. And plus, they got to uh, edit in the laughs and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. they got to make it take out the part where I cried and yelled at the <laughs> audience. <laughs> this is my special. You should respect my art. <laughs> uh, no, but they it's 99.9% done. They cut it into little clips and all that to like put on TikTok and Twitter and whatever. And then they've got the whole special and we've got the album cover and the album's cut into uh, tracks. And they have two versions of the album, one with the cuss words taken out and one where I get to say fuck and balls. Wow. And stuff. Damn. And, uh, 
Yeah, so the the clean version will be put out on Sirius XM and Pandora and stuff like that, and hopefully I get fucking million streams. And <laughs> I was actually going to bring what my... What is that, like nine bucks, a million streams? <laughs> something like that, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's more for uh, monetization and stuff as far as YouTube goes, like yeah. people watching ads and stuff, and hopefully the same on Twitter. Um, as X. far as X, X. oh yeah, X. Uh, hey, it's yeah. still Twitter.com. It when sure you're, is when you're sharing it. They if haven't. you type in X.com, it takes you straight to Twitter though. And if you have, oh, a, really? Yes, you like have shaky hands when you're typing in X.com. You get to a whole different site. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do multiple yeah. X's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People That's were what... joking about Xvideos.com, uh-huh. which is like a total porn site. Absolutely. But I think somebody at some point was like, when you come to X to watch videos, and people are like, I watch my own X videos. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to share them with anybody. Yeah. Uh, but anything else you've been doing? Um, no, I feel very... It's only been a week, so I, I guess I it's know. not that bad that I haven't accomplished anything. But uh, no, I did a show at a bar here in town on Saturday with uh, my friend Nick Allen from mm-hmm. up in Omaha. And I guess both of us just kind of forgot to like tell people about it (laughs) and uh it was at 6 p.m because they had a band coming in at eight and they were like we can do a six o'clock show we forgot there was a chiefs game we got there and literally it was the bartender and the two of us (laughs) and we were like fuck like i guess you didn't tell anybody and i'm like no i figured you'd tell a bunch of people uh we ended up having like six people in the audience we did the show i got my shirts out and shit i was like come buy some merch i sold one it was worth it (laughs) it was very good we had i had the most fun that a human being could possibly have with an audience of six there you go i don't know i've seen a lot of videos that are orgies and (laughs) those people look like they're having a great time. great they're not the audience they're all participants (laughs) well you could have turned those audience members into participants i didn't want to okay Okay, they were that ugly they were not uh <laughs> they weren't my type i'll yeah. say that he there doesn't were, like planned there was an older couple <laughs> he likes yeah. a surprise. if they surprised me with it then i'd be like what what's going on okay <laughs> i guess this is fine oh shit so what is your special going to be on have you, uh, it- they're releasing the video on YouTube. Okay. As far as I know, I asked them to d- reach out to like Netflix or whatever. And they were like, yeah, we don't really do that. And I was like, all right, well, <laughs> I already filmed it and signed the contract. So I can't really be like, <laughs> fuck you, put it on Netflix. So yeah, but there's been some successful ones on YouTube and, and you can definitely make more money on YouTube if it's successful than you could with like a lump sum from Netflix. Sure. Mm-hmm. If it happens to take off and Andrew Schultz uh in ck lck yeah yeah so but they're definitely like anomalies I, or they're like you were one of those people too i don't know man oh yeah your your bald head and your your uh, long beard mm. yeah and sarcasm and humor right? all right all right how about you derek how have you been uh busy yeah yeah lots of baseball again this week uh i got to play hero to my in-laws uh Last weekend. They died? Past weekend. No. Oh. No, That's their car broke down and they needed a car. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. I was able to uh, get a hold of my stepbrother who builds Fords mm-hmm. and was able to get him friends and family pricing cool. on a new Ford. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, was also able to help work the deal like with finances. I think I ended up saving him like four or five grand. There you go. So nice. it worked out really well. And now I'm like fucking royalty status with them Ooh, so yeah that's, that's pretty cool that is cool yeah that, i was like on the, i think they were on the fence for these last 10 years and now i think like they <laughs> they're got like one this guy's all right yeah. <laughs> so uh and then i got to the funnest part was i got to play poker uh that same night because i had like everything that i was supposed to do got canceled because that was like impromptu last minute yeah yeah they're like we're driving up for three we're driving up the three hours and we're gonna go get a car i'm like shit i was gonna have poker night so I went and played at another friend's house, and I knew everybody there except one guy. And he fucking beat you. No. Oh, okay. No, I cleaned up. Did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I won about. I bought in for sixty and left with three hundred, so that was good. That's a good All day. Right. That's a good night. Um, but one guy was like, our buddy Stan was like, man. This guy is a good friend of mine. He's been golfing all day, so he's kind of drunk, but he's you know he he's cool. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm getting the warning thing. I, I've been the warning before. I get it, you know. And uh, Me too. Yeah. 
And so he shows up, and he seems cool. It's like him and I end up playing heads up in the tournament, and then we get done with the tournament. And uh, Stan's like, hey, I want everybody to, before we start the cash game, let's. I want you guys to all try this tequila. So we do this shot of tequila. I hadn't drank that whole night. I took the shot of tequila. I'm fine. I go sit down. I think that's what put his buddy, like, over. Over the edge. <laughs> yeah, because all of a sudden, his buddy doesn't even know what he's betting. He's just grabbing shit and throwing chips. Mm. Uh, my buddy Patton is like, uh, he just bet a bushel. <laughs> like, I don't know. And uh, at one point, I took, like, four hands in a row off the guy, and he's, like, getting irritated. And then he looks over because he's drunk, and he's like, I think this guy is judging me. <laughs> and Jeremy was there. And Jeremy just fucking fucked with him the entire time. <laughs> and so he's like, I think that guy's judging me. And Jeremy's sitting right next to him. And he's like, oh, totally. Dude has a gavel and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he starts going, you guys, you guys want to fuck my wife? <laughs> he's like, my wife's hot. You guys, she, you want to fuck my wife? He, she's not there. <laughs> and so Jeremy just goes, I'm sure she'd really appreciate you all, all you letting all of us offer to take a poke at her. But <laughs> and then a little bit later, because uh, JP's down there playing too, and he goes, I, I like pussy. And Jeremy goes, Oh, good. I was worried you didn't. <laughs> And he goes, you think I like cock? And he goes, no, no, I was just worried you didn't like pussy. <laughs> like, I was concerned. And so this whole conversation, and so we get outside after everybody's leaving, and they ended up calling that guy's wife to come get him. Turns out she was hot. We should have took a poke at her. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the so you took advantage of an alcoholic and <laughs> took his money. Yes. And, no, and we then... actually stopped. He tried to, he kept, he tried to buy in for another hundred. And uh, we wouldn't let him. Oh, um, okay. So that uh, makes it a little nicer, right? Yeah. So because it took. I was like, it sounds end. like this guy is the victim of all <laughs> oh, no, this. You're no. like, listen to this. What this piece of shit tried to do. <laughs> so then, as we're outside talking, and then uh, I think Eric looked at uh, Jeremy. And he's like. Did you you knew that guy right? And Jerry's like, no. <laughs> he goes, dude, you were fucking with him so hard. I thought you had known that guy for. He's like, no, that's the first time I've ever seen him. <laughs> so it was fairly fucking entertaining. Oh, uh, good old Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, Love yeah, that, he's a big dude though. So he like Jeremy. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. But I mean, he's, he's like, yeah, he's, he's big yeah. enough to be intimidating. Where if a guy was like, "Man, won't you quit talking shit to me?" He'd be like, "You don't want to fucking start with me, dude." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will sit duty. here and talk shit to you as much as I want. And the guy will be like, "All cutter. right, sorry, sorry for yelling." He's been doing DDP yoga, so he'll drop the diamond cutter on that dude. Yep. Yeah. So that, that fucking guy had me in tears laughing. I'm sure he Jeremy did. is so goddamn funny. He is. Uh, it, but yeah, so you had baseball, poker, yeah. anything else you did? Did you go see any movies? Because I, oh, since you yeah. we went and saw Oppenheimer. Yeah, we went to the, that, that same day we bought the car, uh, we went to the late show of Oppenheimer wow. eight, at 8 30. Bad Long move. Day. Bad move. Why? Because that thing didn't get over till like midnight. Yeah, it's three and, three and a half hour movie. Oh, uh, if, if I would have been watching that at home, I'd have left. <laughs> you would have left, would have left I, home. I would have left my house. Why? But what was bad about it? I, it wasn't just. It was just boring. It was very slow. Like yeah. I, I, I like, was in. I was interested in it, and I was like, cool. But it, it got to the point where I'm like, this could be an hour and a half shorter, and I would have been fine. But yeah, I would. I couldn't. Uh, I don't know. Again. I have a feeling it's like it's going to be one of those movies that when it's on HBO Max. I'm going to watch it and enjoy the shit out of it. it, it it's it, loud. It is loud. Yeah, that's for sure. But like, if you know the history of it, if you know what's actually going on and they don't tap, they don't have to like tell you, Derek's a little slow. Yeah. So yeah. you got to, you know, but if you, yeah, if you, he's like, where's the Japanese? Yeah, exactly. I'm the dumb one. Yeah. So whenever you know the history behind it and stuff, it's actually really good. I understand why people think it's slow, but if you actually know what's going on behind, you know, everything, it's yeah. actually very, very good. I like movies like that because of the way I reacted about suits earlier. Yeah. Cause you can't spoil a true story for yeah. me. Yeah. We I, know what happens. Like it's in the history books of like <laughs> what happens unless they just totally fuck that up. I don't know. My Michael Orr got a true story spoiled for him. <laughs> he sure did. Woo. I, I've heard people talking shit about him, though, in the last week. I have, week. too. That's why people I said. People are like, oh, he's full of shit. Why that, is he bitching? That's why I said last week. I was just like, until we get all of the details, I'm not throwing scum anywhere. Uh, but, yeah. But any, anything else at all that you did? 
Uh, no. No? No, that's okay. it. Okay. Well, I'm going to kick this thing off because i got a lot of shit to go over. First things first, I want to give a happy birthday to my wife. It is her birthday today. Oh, dude, why didn't you mention that? <laughs> I should have said something upstairs. I know, I did. I did. I was polite. Yeah, she was. I'm just like, what's up? Yeah. What's up? Just a normal day. I got so much shit from everybody else, too. It's like, you're recording on your wife's birthday? I'm like, yeah. Of course I am. Why well, that I? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, I just think either. there's something wrong with not like you sent me a message like, "Hey, I'll see you at six thirty. Yeah. It, how hard would it have been to be like, "By the way, it's my <laughs> wife's birthday. If she happens to be standing in the kitchen when you get here, just throw her a little happy birthday." Oh well, I, could, I guess I could have done that. Just so. ask her to change your oil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, you're not doing anything. Will you change my oil while <laughs> right. I'm down here recording? What are you doing in here? <laughs> What are these balloons for? Are you yeah. special? 5W30. Yeah. Uh, but no, we had a great birthday for her. We uh, I took her to Gord, uh, George's Bistro. I thought you were going to say Gordman's. <laughs> hey, we had Pick a great out something nice for yourself. Yeah, here's 20 bucks. Go, she, go nuts. You got a painting of a zebra on canvas. <laughs> they do have nice zebra canvas paintings. <laughs> I got some from Amazon, and I was very disappointed because I thought they would be Gordman's quality, yeah. but they weren't even close. They were nothing close. Uh, no, we went to a, a very nice restaurant here in town. It's called uh, George's Bistro. That's De- where we uh, for my wife. Yep, Derek, Derek uh, actually referred us to that place. It was very good. It was, was, it, it was, was it just the two of you there? No, it was ah. it was uh, it was for her birthday, but it was me, my brother, and his fiance, and uh, ah, okay. so just uh, us two couples, and uh, had a great time. Um, I, uh, I, I'm still doing the whole sober thing. I'm like 23 weeks sober and, and they wanted to go over and have drinks and hang out and stuff like that afterwards. Well, I, I found, (laughs) I found, I found a non-alcoholic tequila that I've been drinking. And then I was like, man, I wonder if they have a whiskey. I feel like a whiskey sour right now. So we call, my brother proceeds to call five liquor stores in the vicinity to see if they have anything. And they're all like, no, you no. fucking losers. Right. No. I like that. Probably you quit, <laughs> just quit. I like that. Fake it. Probably a drunk guy is calling liquor stores. <laughs> you guys have not alcoholic whiskey. <laughs> 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 so, so there's a liquor store legitimately across the street that we called. And uh, I just go, you know what? Let's just go, go in there and see if they have anything. If they don't, they don't. No big deal. I know they have non-alcoholic beer, worst case scenario. So we walk in, and it was one of those situations to where the guys are like, I think somebody's prank calling us about non-alcoholic stuff because we walk in, and then they realize, okay, this is not a joke. There's one guy that's like, no, man, we don't have anything. But there's a guy behind the counter that's been here that's older than everybody that knows every nook and cranny of this liquor store. And he just points at me. He's like, I got exactly what you're looking for. He runs behind the fucking counter over to this like corner area that's dustier than shit. Dusty, yeah. yeah. And he pulls this bottle of non-alcoholic whiskey, uh, whatever you call alternate. And pulls it out, and that thing is covered in dust. It was $35 marked down to $10.85. Nice. So I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Tried it, and I'm like, this is actually pretty decent for non-alcoholic stuff. And I'm like, that's great. But he, he knew right where to go. He was super excited because he actually, for selling that bottle, he got a gift card to George's French <laughs> yeah, That's right. It's like, if you sell this shit, I'll just give you a gift card. Yeah. I will take a $90 loss on this bottle. Yeah, I feel like he definitely called somebody after you left oh i'm Was sure like, we sold it oh he, he, he's like <laughs> you did not his face swear to god like a fucking christmas tree he's like <laughs> oh my god i do yeah he was fucking excited you know a manager was called immediately after he walked out i want to call that liquor store tomorrow and be like do you guys have non-alcoholic whiskey <laughs> <laughs> you better catch it you better <laughs> <laughs> no just like you better order a case because yeah. i'm gonna want some no shit <laughs> it was actually pretty good um, but while we're on the topic of like restaurants and stuff like that, we actually got somebody from Instagram who's going to be in the area, uh, I believe very soon. Uh, his name's Cody Pointer. He wanted to know what the best uh, restaurants in Wichita are. I think George's would probably George's be is there. my favorite. Forged ICT is really fucking good too. Uh huh. Um, Spangles. Uh, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> is that that's, not what we're doing? I mean, Spangles is is pretty. Um, that's pretty up there, man. That's that's like. Does the the ones you said high have, price have ice cream with? Uh, 
can, <laughs> candy bar chunks mixed in it. I mean, some places, yeah. The but of the two that you guys just listed. Oh no! It's, okay, no, it's, so it's like Spangles a, it's is like better. A, is what like you're saying? It's like a mousse. It's like a chocolate mousse. Yeah, I don't want know? that bullshit. <laughs> uh, if you want a burger, Buster's Burger Joint, <clears throat> but it's only open from eleven to two Tuesday through Saturday, and it's cash only. Wow! Wow, that sounds very that crackheady. It's fucking amazing. I bet it is. That's where I took my in-laws <laughs> with, uh, that next day for lunch. It's wow. So Good. And there, it's super cheap. There's a place, and I can't think of what it's called, so this story doesn't matter. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> uh, my favorite place has got to be, oh, what the fuck is that place called? It's over in uh, Bradley Fair. Newport. Newport Grill. That's yeah. that's uh, that's my favorite place. <clears throat> is everything menthol flavored? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have the not. menthol trout on the knee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a seafood place, but they fly in like fresh fish daily, so it's it's fucking amazing. Oh, Fat Ernie's, <laughs> Fat Fat yeah. Ernie's. Yeah. Have you heard of that? I think that's what Vorshays is now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it turned uh, into. Just, yeah, I think that's what Vorshays is now. It's probably. the old Fat Ernie's. No, uh, it's not. Is it really? Yeah. What? Uh, no, my grandma and my aunt told me they went there like two weeks ago, and Vorshays has been there for at least a year or two. Oh, it's been there for at least. I mean, two, maybe three it years was ago. one of those once, but okay. it, there's another one that is still in existence. It was another fat guy's place. Maybe it was like Fat Tony's or something. Oh man, Ernie's <laughs> fucking offended now. He should be that you thought he was Tony. I. <laughs> it's I, one of the E's. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do have to address something though. I by accident last week. I I wanted to share something on my Facebook so just my family and friends could see. Yeah. And it was a picture. I referred to it on last week's episode, Mike, about how much I look like my dad. Yeah. Oh yeah. I saw right? you post that. Okay. I didn't mean to. I just meant to post it on my personal page. But anything I post on that page now goes to the laughing on the sidelines on Instagram. Mm. So I'm I'm sorry. Now all you guys see what my dad looks like. But yeah, I look a lot like my fucking dad. Yeah. It's it's kind of scary. Funny I'm, how that works, huh? I'm the same yeah. way, yeah. <laughs> I, I Snapchat with my sisters all the time, and like every 30th snap, they're like, you looked like dead in that one. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I, I can see. So do you? I can see similarities, but I can also see my mom's face in my face oh. when I make certain faces. Sometimes I have you know? my mom's colored eyes. Like I have blue eyes. That's the only thing I don't look like. Like my Harry dad. Potter, huh? Yeah, that's it. People are like, "You look like your dad, but you have your mother's eyes." Exactly. Yeah, that's the shit I get. Yep. Um. Uh, another thing I did, I started playing Call of Duty again. All right, I've never I, played I, it, dude. So. I I got back into. It. I'm not gonna go balls to the wall, but I have been playing like uh, I think Cold War is the one I've got, and I uh, I've been I've been in there doing some work. Um, but I do have an announcement I do want to make. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be this coming episode, so obviously not this one. This one will release on Wednesday as normal. Uh, but it possibly will be the following episodes <coughs> will start be they'll they'll start to release on Thursday coming soon. Um, so if you don't get an episode on Wednesday morning like you normally do, it's because our our schedules are all changing. We're trying to make everybody happy slash Derek happy because he's the only one that bitches about schedules. Mm -hmm. And so um, so yeah, gonna, if we just wouldn't do this, yeah, it'd be so much better for me. I know I can be here whenever. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing going on. Right, you and, got five more minutes with me. Right? I'm start <laughs> billing you. So I will try to make an announcement on the uh, social media platforms whenever that does happen, so you guys can expect it. Uh, so but if you're subscribed or whatever, then it doesn't yeah. even matter. It'll still tell you. Click the fucking notification on your YouTube. That's yeah. how you know. That's when you get it. I Where do they I'd find the podcast? Uh, just Google laughing on sidelines. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking or, easy. It or you can find, like, it's on everything. It is and on And it's everything. the only laughing on, if you type in laughing on the then it, almost yeah. every app will be like, you mean this shitty podcast? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, that's yes, the one. That's exactly what I was looking that's for. That's the one. Yeah, it's right after Challenger because Sidelines, <laughs> is, is, it's alphabetical. <laughs> right. Laughing on the Challenger. And then, yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's what they were doing on the spaceship. That's yeah. why it blew up. Because yeah, they right. were fucking around. Yeah, yeah. That's right. See. They would have been horsing around that fucking spaceship. It <laughs> well, would have blown yeah. up. Uh, but last but certainly not least, because uh, we also have another uh, <laughs> a birthday shout out. I wanted to give a happy birthday out to a listener of ours. His name is Ben, ben. Aronoff. Aronoff. Thank your wife, dog. She got me. She got me. She uh, she convinced me to wish you a happy birthday. So I don't know what day it was, but happy birthday from all of us here at Laughing on the Sidelines. Yeah, happy birthday, you piece of shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Cocksucker. That's my favorite uh, like friendship way to oh, yeah. say happy birthday to somebody is I've, to just yeah. like 
deface them. Yes. I just put them down. I have a uh, like a, a photo and it spells out it's happy birthday, but it's spelled out with dicks. And so like I like to send that to people. Yeah, All you right. send that to me every yeah. year. Like, I know. Re- yeah. Like real yeah. dicks or cartoon Car- dicks? Car- well, car- oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. Chat GPT dicks. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really realistic. <laughs> the, the actual chat GPT app can't do images and stuff. So Here's, you're using some sort of technology that's beyond anything I have. Here's Derek in the mirror just trying to bend yeah. his dick. Right. How do I make a lowercase h? <laughs> yeah. He's got his wife zoomed in extra close to try to make it spell I'm happy laying, birthday. I'm laying on my side so my <laughs> testicles make a fucking semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This ampersand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit like no zoom in really tight for the o <laughs> we're gonna just use the it'll be an o i swear <laughs> oh that's disgusting <laughs> okay anyways ladies and gentlemen that is our week week recap now we get to move on to the current events we've got going on uh we'll start off with baseball Derek uh, mentioned it i didn't write it down but uh <clears throat> we got a bla- baseball player that used a number two pencil up at the plate the other day i saw that i have never seen anything like that in my life it's, i thought that was so cool it was cool shit what happened uh so he got his baseball bat painted in the color it looked like a number two pencil to where it tapers down okay and it's like the lead of a pencil oh, it's, that's, that's gonna be better. It, yeah. it's pretty fucking it's pretty cool. And are and you're allowed to do that? Fuck yeah, you're I allowed. Guess. There's no. no rule in Major League Baseball no. that says you can't paint your bat. Absolutely. I, I'm surprised this hasn't been going on for decades. Uh, well, now I think they have technology good enough to where they can do this and it not really be any kind of a cheating thing. Now you're oh, yeah. Great. Like, no, I just painted it. Yeah. It's like you painted it with pine tar, dude. <laughs> like, that's not good. Yeah. Now yeah, like, mm. my bat's a Cheeto. That's what <laughs> I was thinking. And like, I, what are other cylindrical things yeah. that you could paint your bat to be? That'd be a good top five oh, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A syringe. A dildo, yeah. obviously. Oh, oh for yeah. sure. A big Just, floppy dick absolutely. bat. I think the MLB would, would probably not like that one. Now, hey, if I can do a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Just do an egg. Just Where's do the an, line? Just do an eggplant and then be like, what? What the fuck? Just catch play a, stupid. Catch a fastball inside. The bat breaks and everybody in the audience, every dude is like, oh, no, God. <laughs> Damn! Uh, what else? What are other things that um, that could be cylindrical? Yeah, the, I said a syringe. A, I mean, a syringe yeah, could potentially you, you can work. Make, you yeah. can make it look like that, or like a balloon animal. Oh yeah, that you would know, be cool. Something like that. I think you can make that work. Fun. Oh, that would yeah. bring me to the. I'd I'd go to a baseball game. <laughs> you would <laughs> just I, to see the creativity with yeah. baseball bats. Oh, there's football on right now. Uh, I just turned on something so. Um, but moving on, now we got a uh, next one that Derek is really going to actually appreciate. Uh, Cardin or St. Louis Cardinals rookie middle infielder gets his first base hit, and Pete Alonso for the New York Mets just takes the ball and throws it into the crowd. That's now my he's my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? So whenever a, a player comes up through the minor league system, has his first major league oh, baseball he gets to game, like keep the ball, he, and you get your first base hit, you keep the ball. That you give the ball, it's just a natural thing. But Pete Alonso apparently didn't really know. From the other team? From the other team, okay. yeah. Okay. He just, uh, like, I think the, the whole St. Louis Cardinals, like, bullpen, or not bullpen, but whole dugout was asking for the ball. And I think Pete Alonzo was just like, all right, I'll give it to a fan and just throws it over the fucking net and just there it went. It I like, went, did bye. he get it back or? I don't know. He did. I would imagine, yeah. She got, uh, or they got it from the fan because it was in St. Louis, wasn't it? Yeah. If I was that fan, I'd be like, 10 grand. Oh, sure. Or I'm fucking eating this ball right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? You want a ball with a bite taken out of it? That's fine with me. Yeah, they, uh, and then Pete Alonzo sent that guy a uh, bottle of 1492 Good. And, or 1942, sorry, and a uh, an autographed bat. That's cool. A yeah. 14. Here, this is from Col- Christopher <laughs> Columbus's yeah. boat. Yeah, it's from the ocean. <laughs> it, it's non-alcoholic ocean water, <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes exactly like tequila. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, um, there weren't even two outs. Like, that wasn't even the third out when that happened. I oh, think it was I know. like the second out, like, which you don't really ever toss that to the fan. No, you don't. I don't know why he did it, but it was mistaken. Unless you're Benny Agbayani. Yeah, you, they, they, same team, dude. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, next one. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Oh, there was a fight at the Broncos and 40s Niners game. Did you see that? No. Preseason brawl in the stands from the fans. The only thing is, is that it wasn't the 49ers versus the Broncos fans. It was 49ers against the 49ers fans. They just started beating the shit out of, it looked like one dude, and he got the fuck kicked out of him. So, you know, keep it classy there, San Francisco. Derek's going to visit you next week. Well, How that, are you? Yeah. Be safe. Be safe. That that does happen, though. Like, if you watch wrestling, they go into the stands. Oh, yeah. And they start fighting. So, I mean. <clears throat> that's you, true. Did, have, did you see that video of all of the, the new uh, San Francisco residents that were given their own little motorbikes? No. Uh -oh. oh, dude. That's like part of the uh, 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 legal alien thing. What oh. is that called? The I don't know. Import or uh, immigration yeah. okay. thing. In California, they give them a fucking scooter to ride around. Oh. And there was a video today of literally like 500 dudes just like <laughs> loudly going down a road in San Francisco. <laughs> they're the scooter all in game. like identical. They're not scooters. They're like uh, little motorcycles, you know. But, oh, God. That's But not great. the funny little ones. Like oh, just no. not an expensive motorcycle. You can't point. tell me that if those guys thought it was cool to start getting <clears throat> cuts with a freaking logo on the back and they were the scooter gang. Fucking Hell's Angels. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, I would yeah. still run, though, if I heard fucking <laughs> 500 <laughs> wee, wee. I'd be like oh <laughs> shit oh yeah they were yeah. though they were driving on the sidewalk and shit people were like get over here Timmy to their kids <laughs> that is, wasn't really his name but that's okay anyway yep be careful dude yeah have fun a lot of crazy shit in this world that's right uh, next one uh, Taylor Swift turns down the opportunity to perform at this year's Super Bowl halftime show Good. Thank fucking God. Oh, I think it would be a good show. Yeah, it actually would be a good show. She's like, uh, this is going to be a bad comparison in the first sentence, but she is similar to the Beatles in that I'm like, I don't fucking like it. And then you play me an album and I'm like, oh, they sing this? I, okay, I like this. Like a lot of her music, I just don't know as hers, but I've heard it like at Walmart or whatever, you know? I hate the Beatles just about as much as I hate Taylor Swift music. See, so, so that just tells me that you just hate popular <clears throat> things to be a dick. Even no, though they're fantastic. I like popular things. Ice cream. Uh, 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 mm, yeah, yeah, there he goes. There are my teeth. Genuine whiskey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> No, I like that. Uh, I know. I like that too much is yeah, exactly. why I don't do it. Thank you. Uh, but no. I like crack too, but yeah. I don't do that no. because I want to have a normal life. Right. Uh, like, you know how Mike gets after one or two hits of crack. I know. Jeez, can't even talk to the guy. He's no longer sarcastic. <laughs> he's just going to ruin the party. That's right. Next Starts, thing you know, he's, he's shitting your pants. Yeah. <laughs> Starting doing spoilers for TV shows all over the place. Um, but no, who would you who would you want for the the halftime show this year? Like, if you could pick, if you could pick one like upcoming star, who would Dave it be? Matthews Band? See, I don't he's think a big be that up bad. and comer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's been out for a while, but I think he never he had the opportunity. But he'd be a good one. He would be because it has to be family fun. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised they've never had him before, or nah. maybe they have, and I just don't remember. No, nah, I don't think so. I mean, you could. I guess you're right. I could. I could not have paid attention. But they'll probably time. pick somebody like a, a '90s star of some kind. They'll yeah, but like, who is that? Who uh, would that be? Celine Dion or something. I mean, go out there, sing your song. Everybody knows. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the game, fellas. A absolutely. No, I, I, I think it'll probably be like I don't know, like fucking. Uh, Ariana Grande or something like that. I heard Lizzo got taken off of that particular invitation list. Ah, uh, because she's fat. Because of the Glizzo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the stage wouldn't hold Damn, it. Damn, there goes my fucking shot at the Super Bowl halftime show. <laughs> she's she's the person that uh, what's his Oliver Anthony was singing about in his song. She's five foot three and three hundred pounds. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. That could have been. I think that's how that would be like the fucking epitome of making it as a comic. Like if you're the first comedian to perform at the Super Bowl yeah. halftime show. Oh God. They're like, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Burr. And you're like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? I can't. That was my Watching the work. fucking game. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I would enjoy that a lot. That sounded did. like him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we do, we do have football, preseason football coming into play. Don't look too much into the preseason. Just don't do it. I don't even look into the regular season, so that's cool. Whenever you're a, that much of a, a loser and, and you just pout and whine and bitch complain, you just say it's rigged so that way you don't have to pay attention. 
Sure, uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, but Do anyways, people, me and like thirty percent of the country. Okay. Do people bet on preseason games? Do uh, oh yeah, people bet on chess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Steve Peters bet on chess, and I was like, hey, so you know something about like the two guys playing chess? And he's like. No, no. <laughs> but one's an American and one's a German. Go USA. And I'm like, oh, God. Did he dude. win? No, he lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, he was probably like, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, Stephen A. Smith starts a rumor that Stefan Diggs wants out of Buffalo. Uh, turns out that indeed was a rumor. And Stefan Diggs doesn't get on Twitter or X very often, but immediately gets on. And it's like, yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. And just calls it out like twice. And uh, so, yeah, I do not like it when you have, like, sports analysts that are doing this kind of shit. This is why I don't want to believe anybody who says anything whenever they start start shit like this. I mean, that's that's the most frustrating thing in the world when you're depending on somebody who's connected in the sporting world or in anything to give you true information. And then they give you bullshit. That's what creates the doubt in a lot of people whenever you say something. So that's uh my, okay. I was waiting, wanting some kind of feedback, but no, I, I can't. All right. I said it, when I agree 100%, I, I said so eloquently exactly what I meant and I have no chirp backs. Okay. That's fine. Uh, next one, uh, the fans blast the Buffalo Bills for hanging a Super Bowl banner in their practice facility despite not having won a single Super Bowl. I don't see why that's a problem. If it's That's what a, you're going for. Yeah, it's like it's like putting a picture of a hot chick yeah. in your locker or whatever from I a agree. magazine. Yeah. You're like, one day, buddy. It's the Ted Lasso Believe sign. That's right. It is the Ted. By the way, I finished it. It's fantastic. It's one of the best shows of all time. Absolutely. It, it is. really is. It, I don't like it. It's it legitimately. I mean, Derek, I, I'm sorry. I'm. This is kind I of I hate a soccer. I love it. I, I love the show. hate soccer. I despise <clears throat> the sport of soccer. Have you seen a live soccer game? Yes. I saw one and they a dude got a hat trick. Oh, yeah. It was the fucking most exciting thing I've ever done in my entire life. That's not true. It was top 10, though, easily. But you need I, to get I, out more. I went with that attitude. I went with a girlfriend at the time and I was like, I don't want to go to a fucking soccer game. And we're there like three minutes and everybody's like, oh, oh, oh. And dude's like driving towards the goal and gets a goal. And everybody's like, yeah. And I was like, all right. Was and it the wings? I don't fucking remember. Oh, okay. It was 20 years ago. But okay. But I, but then five minutes later, same dude gets another goal. I'm not even paying attention. I'm drinking whiskey that I snuck in in my sock or whatever. <laughs> Actual whiskey or uh-huh, non-alcoholic? Yeah, this is back oh. when I drank still. Okay. And literally like six minutes after that, then everybody start like after the second goal, people start whispering and shit. If he gets another one, that's a, that never happens. This will be crazy. And so every time the guy gets the ball, everybody's like, Oh, Oh, and then, then he fucking got a third goal and every, I was hugging strangers and shit. It was packed. It was awesome. Anyway. Yeah. Soccer's gay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Touche. Uh, but no, to, to go look at your point. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> Derek's, uh, Derek's just, just waited and they just got him again. Uh, oh, shit. Fuck, that was funny. Uh, but no, I, I I do agree soccer <laughs> sucks, but <laughs> Ted Lasso is not just, it's not like the funniest show of all time. Uh-huh. It's just a great show it just makes you feel good on it, the inside. Both it, the characters, they do an excellent job creating the characters and actually uh, developing characters mm-hmm. like they need to fucking teach Star Wars how to do this shit now. Did you see Freddie Prinze Jr. talking about Star Wars the other day? No. He did like the voice for a game or a cartoon or something like that. So he was with, uh, I think it was Jeff Dye and another guy on a podcast. And, mm. and Freddie Prinze Jr. is like, no, dude, fucking listen. All right. I'll fucking explain. Like he was getting upset. Freddie Prinze Jr. Yeah. But, wow. But Jeff Dye and the other guys are both like, nice. Like just <laughs> listening to him talk. But he's like, George Lucas had all this planned out like the force is like good versus evil there's a balance like there's no like secrets in it like once you know the balance you know how everything and it was like a six minute long video but it was pretty interesting yeah so don't shit on star wars oh no i'm shitting on star wars freddie prince jr i'm shitting on star wars uh from from you know from the the new movies on yeah Yeah. is that the same freddie that got fingered yeah 
No, that was Fred or uh, Tom Green. Okay. Yeah. Tom, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. was in She's All That, I well, believe. I just knew Freddie got fingered. Which is a, sure which is probably guy. the best movie that's ever been made. They see they take this girl who's ugly, right? <laughs> and she's but hot. It turns out, she's yeah, fucking hot. When she doesn't wear garbage bags and fucking thick glasses you're like oh wait you're attractive this is the whole superman and clark kent bullshit she's wearing glasses so she's a nerd and then she's oh she takes the glasses off she's hot well she gets she gets adopted by this family to play linebacker and (laughs) her lineman that's that yep and freddie prince jr saves the day Uh uh-huh i've seen all right i'm so fred lasso good yeah ted ted lasso's (laughs) ted lasso (laughs) frank yeah i'm a big fan (laughs) yeah uh, but last is certainly not least, uh, 90, I'm sorry, it's now 100,000 Native American Guardians Associations have signed the petition to bring back the Washington Redskins as the name for the Washington Commanders. Good. So now, the only reason why I wanted to talk about this was because... You I, love politics. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the only reason why is that I think this is the smartest move that they could possibly do. I, I really want them to bring that name back but more than anything i don't want them to continue to start taking out these these names of things that are going to be cemented in history like the cleveland indians like the the atlanta braves and the and the kansas city chiefs like all of those things are are history related to native americans which i think it's really smart for the redskins to go towards somebody who's who's you know obviously got native american heritage and things like that that are saying in support of you fuckers you're going to eventually erase us from everything and we're not going to be there i mean they already got land of lakes there's no there's no native american on the butter anymore yeah so i just aunt jemima (coughs) yeah that shit's gone too it's like what the fuck yeah but but at least now the because when they took the redskins name away it was just 40 year old white women yeah that were like you shouldn't call it redskins yeah and and that's kind of my point few indians that were standing around at the time were like well i don't care yeah and they're like yeah be quiet we've got this we'll handle this for you yeah and now they got a hundred thousand of them that are like no (laughs) we don't give a we're not offended by it and i think that's important and i'm sure that there's probably other native americans who don't like it i'm sure that that's the case but the fact that they're going through this agency, which is built up of Native American heritage, I think it's the smartest thing to do. And I think I would actually like it if it was revamped. And now that we get, don't have Dan Snyder as the owner, it, it would be a good thing. And I think it would be great for the NFL. And I think you'd have a lot of Washington Redskins fans immediately overnight because it's it's tired of this whole let's cancel everything that's, you know, Make somebody mad. Yep. So I like it. The Chiefs actually weren't named <clears throat> after Indians. No, they it was after a after bus a, driver. Yeah, it was like a dude that yeah, everybody called driver. Chief. Right? They called him Chief. Yeah, that was the whole the whole. But why they call him that? Where did they get that name from? From Indians. <laughs> <laughs> and I, if I remember, he was actually a black guy. All so right. yeah, it was uh, it was just a nickname. But anyways, well, that's the current events for this week. No, unless, no wonder Franco. Uh, no, you can if you want. Have, have we discussed that yet? No. Tell uh, us about it. I don't know about it. I don't you don't know. You don't know about it? I have been paying attention. Uh, Wander Franco, the big prospect for the Rays, uh, had that 14-year-old girl on Facebook, and they are in a relationship. You didn't know any of that? No. Yeah. So is he off the team? or he is are sus- they- The MLB today has suspended him indefinitely. Oh, shit. I guess shit. she is in the Dominican Republic, I think, where it's, it's legal there. But supposedly I've read that she has like tried to extort other players too. Like she gets into their DMs and all this shit and but apparently that suppose I don't remember if they've been together, like if he's Well, he's like sixteen though, right? Wonder Franco, he's like twenty <laughs> something. I'm just kidding, dude. But I, I read today that they were starting to take down all the shit of him. He still has a locker, but I read like as of a few hours ago, they're starting to take they like there was a rap of him on the elevator, that's gone. Uh, a lot of like the the big banner they had of him that's gone. They so anything that is associated with him in Tampa at that at the field in the stadium is disappearing. He's gonna probably uh, analysts are saying he'll probably never play again. And he was the number one prospect in baseball two years ago. Well, can we all yeah. agree and say good? Yeah, I mean, that's, okay. I mean, okay. Yeah, that, I mean that's gross. Like, you shouldn't gross, do that. Gross. Gross is not the word I would who, use. Who be, was that's the, fucking wrong. Who was the great balls of fire guy? Jerry Lewis. Yeah. 
He did the same thing, yeah. and everybody loves that guy. <laughs> let, the, let the man play some baseball. Michael Jackson. We can keep going if you want to. I can't believe you didn't hear that. No, didn't hear I didn't. That. Yeah. I, 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 man, I got enough negative shit coming my way. I try to stay. But you heard far. about the commander thing. I, well, I, <laughs> I got sent that by a listener of ours. So Gotcha. Yeah, yeah so. that's been going on for like a week, this oh, Wonder fuck. Franco thing. So oh, they're, they're the MLB's investigating. and As they should. Yeah, good oh, for absolutely. Them. Kick the him only the thing fuck that's out. Gonna, I think the only thing that's going to save his ass is that where he's in the country he's from. That's legal. Duh. Yeah, because that's where she's at. She's there. But they could still. Right. Yeah, I know. You're <laughs> like, no, it's cool, Your Honor. She was from Thailand. Yeah, it's totally fine. It's like, no, it's still not. No, cool it's still here. not fucking cool. It doesn't me- mean it's. Who cares if it's legal there and illegal here? It doesn't matter. It's still fucking wrong. That's period. He should change his number to fourteen. He should. <laughs> God. I would I would venture to guess that America probably has like the highest uh, age of consent. Is there another? Uh, is there a country that has higher, higher than higher, higher than, than eighteen? 18? Some um, states are sixteen. Yeah, that's touchy. I don't even know. I really don't know enough about it. I would because uh, I definitely I, know. I there's surprised. I know there's plenty of countries that are like age of consent what what are you talking like, about like no yeah. like the her i gave mules to her father <laughs> he's so he's 22 uh there's two girls oh great have raised concerns one publicly one with law enforcement one Yikes. Uh, whose name and age have not been independently confirmed alleged she was in a relationship with him and posted pictures with him on social media her instagram has now been deleted uh still the allegations were enough for mlb to mobilize it so yeah get them Go yeah. after him. And, Fuck him. And then find out who's on Epstein's list. Please send that to us. We all want to know. Who so, Leo Franco is. You dad, have 9,614 <laughs> unopened emails. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Probably. Jesus Christ. I got, I got, I just got, I gave oh, up. Oh, no, you got another one. <laughs> 9,615. Who was it? Texas Day Brazil. Oh. Dude, just edit, select all, delete all. Yeah. Why the oh, fuck do you? I'm, some of those are tracking numbers and shit that I need. I oh. would, I would love, like, never mind. I want to forget, fucking forget it. Well, let's talk about. No, I don't want it. <laughs> email specifics. No. Uh, but that is current events for this week. I now. have 54 unread texts. God, what a dick. Yeah, dude. Now, um, <laughs> now most t- of them are Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, are we still friends or what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking ignore. <laughs> yeah, I, I can even open him that. I promise you there's not that text message. <laughs> uh, but now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these upcoming segments, you can send them to us uh, at uh, X or slash Twitter, which is at L-O-T sidelines or Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. And uh, if we like it, we'll give you a shout out on the show. We had a couple of those today, by the way, um, or one. Uh, but anyways, uh, first one, overrated or underrated, rock, paper, scissors. Very underrated. Yep. Really? That right. is a mental game as much as, yeah, yeah. I, I don't lose it that very often. I don't play the game. I play the man. That's exactly it. What is this motherfucker going to pick? What strategy is this? You pick. I So uh, most people, I don't feel like. Don't give away your secret. Okay, then I can't tell you what the, what the strategy but is. No, but the, the, the first throw determines how I think about the second throw. Yes. If he throws paper first, then I got to think. I'm throwing all right, rock. He would th- only throw paper again to fuck with me. I feel like he's going to throw what's going to beat paper. So he's like, I threw paper. All right, we tied. I'm going to throw scissors now, so then I'm going to throw a rock. Because he's going to... Uh, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> well, you go, eh, eh, and then I just you told go. you my strategy. No, nah, but let's just work. try it. All right. Eh, eh, and then okay. go. One. <laughs> oh, hold on. Two. Boom. Boom. <laughs> See? <laughs> And that's how the fucking games. I don't play. lose wow. that very often. They, wow! We should have a uh, like a rock paper for scissors championship. Get like five hundred people to pay thirty five dollar entry fee, <laughs> <laughs> and the winner gets a hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate <laughs> to Spangles. Okay. <laughs> you actually get six twenty five dollar gift certificates because you can't get a bigger gift certificate than that. <laughs> That would actually be fun. All right. Well, I I was gonna say underrated when making like d- decisions with a friend, but no, y'all we're just it, thinking of the existence y- of the game. You guys took it to a whole new fucking level. Jesus, I like, did that a lot in high school. I'm every sure. argument was like, well, rock paper scissors for it. So then Mike won every argument. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I tend to do that anyway. Right. Uh, all right. Next one, overrated or underrated? Roundabouts. 
underrated. Really? I like them. Do you? I mean, they're, uh, yeah, it keeps traffic mo- moving. Okay. All right. Derek? I'll say underrated just because it made European vacation funnier. It sure did. Yeah. It just won't get over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I kind of think, okay, I'm going to go with they're underrated too. I think that's a clean sweep for all of us. The thing is, is when you have a person who's in a roundabout that doesn't know how a roundabout works, yeah. then it becomes very overrated. Well, but that's true with stoplights too. How do you not like, fucking go? <laughs> <laughs> Does this person not know how stoplights work? Uh, we got horns for that. Um, I guess horns for the roundabout too. Uh, anyways, I just, it's more frustrating to me. Uh, but I, I would say that if everybody knows how a roundabout works, then I'd say, absolutely. You're way underrated. Then you're not, you're not stopping and stopping and going. And I, I kind of dig the shit out of yeah, that. Yeah. So. But I can see how it would panic somebody if they'd never seen one before and they oh, pulled yeah. up on it. They're like, Oh God. Oh yeah. What and is this going to be? They're putting them on two lane highways now too. Yeah. So like you drive out to Western Kansas, you go through two of them on the way out there. And so that means like semi trucks on the same roundabouts and stuff because they use those those two lane highways. Mm-hmm. You got people freaking the fuck out, not knowing what to do. <laughs> so yeah, you know it's a catch twenty two. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated laser pointers? I'm gonna. I have to ask a question first before I can give an appropriate answer. Okay. Do I own a cat in this scenario? <laughs> That's where I was going. Yeah. If I if so, then very underrated. Yes. If I don't have a cat, there's really no point for me to have a laser pointer. Oh man, there's tons of reasons to have a laser pointer. Nah. Oh I've, yeah. I've had people in the audience at my shows with laser pointers before, and it's never good. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, absolutely. You don't bring them to comedy shows, but laser pointers are way underrated. Not just for cats, but for. 85, 90 pound um, fucking pit bulls is okay. absolutely hilarious. Um, but I, I've been told that it's also uh, very emotionally damaging for that dog, too, because he never gets it. There's no reward. There's no reward. He never gets it. But mm-hmm. God, by God, he is still looking for it when I put that fucking thing away. So, But it's still underrated. I think it's great. There? Uh, underrated. Okay. Uh, because... I, I don't have I don't play with them with animals, but I remember in high school we used to play with them with humans. Yeah, <laughs> and I remember being in class and like the teacher would have a red dot on her forehead. Mm-hmm. So that means either we're being immature or she's gonna get her brain <laughs> brain splattered all over the chalkboard. <laughs> and she was a bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't. I, I can still feel the feeling of having laser pointers shine in my eye Same. from friends and oh, shit. Yeah. I'm like, dude, don't. They got really popular though for a while. There. Oh yeah, and I remember like they were advertising some of them to be like you could point a laser pointer at a at airplane moon, or yeah. some shit, and then there's like this guy on a plane, like the fuck where is this coming from yeah i just imagine a pilot being like what Whoa, the f- f- yeah exactly <laughs> take evasive action quick <laughs> his, his cat's running all over the cockpit <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for bringing your cat motherfucker <laughs> on an airplane that's why that's funny oh <laughs> uh, shit all right uh next one overrated or underrated Pole dancing fitness classes. I feel like we've talked about this, haven't not, we? Not this one in particular, no. I mean, I but I feel like we've talked about having a stripper pole in your house. Yes, we have. And, and my answer but to this that is, is the these, same. These are classes, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. Like, well, you need the classes. If you're going to have the thing, you got to get good at it. It's just to go. It's This is like aerobics classes to go and lose weight. Yeah, I think a class for anything. I'm all, people do you talk shit about CrossFit or whatever. And they're like, what are you doing? This is, and it's like, you're, they're doing activity to get in shape like i don't care what that is okay like, I, i've always assumed that i would be really good at pommel horse but <laughs> i never you beat the shit out of a horse <laughs> no you just pummel him like come on motherfucker it's the thing with the handles and you swing your legs around and shit. <laughs> like i feel like with a little bit of practice i would i could that's where i would shine I'll but i never you in the fucking glue i've never had the opportunity to try it because there's no pommel horse classes you're not looking hard enough they're there i not they're not cheap <laughs> they're expensive they're very expensive <laughs> <laughs> okay fine but, no i would say uh underrated okay. because it any anything to get in shape is good get off your fucking ass go do something <laughs> get off your high pummel horse yes <laughs> <laughs> very good <laughs> 
Uh, okay. That I, would be a cool Olympic thing, like regular pommel horse, except it's 40 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, you better stay on. <laughs> oh, same shit. with the balance beam. I oh, think all yeah. of those would be cool. Like, same exact sport, it's just 40 feet up higher. <laughs> <laughs> Summer Olympics are coming coming up. Uh, I'm and they uh, fall into like that double dare goop if they. Fall I was off. imagining yes. the Mortal Kombat spikes, with, <laughs> and there's like a skull on one of them already oh, from the yeah. last Olympics. Perfect, just tattered leotards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and flags because they wear their flag yeah. while they're doing it. Oh yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna say this is. Uh, I'm sorry, this is overrated. <laughs> I I am totally for people wanting to get into shape and yes, do anything and everything, but. <clears throat> this is a class. That means that you are with other people teaching you how to be on this particular stripper pole. And uh, for that, I don't think a lot of people need to be on said stripper poles. And I am using Derek as sitting next to me as one of them in particular. Yeah. That, Why do you got to bring up your sexual fantasy? <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I'm just saying I'm, but, but, I'm trying to save that company from having to re-fucking... Uh, sheetrock the fucking uh, ceiling. Assume, uh, that every, good. assume that everything stays put. Imagine six months from now, <laughs> yeah, Derek, after six months Shredded. of pole training, fucking spinning around, holding himself with one arm or one knee and shit, <laughs> doing this stuff in the air. <laughs> I would be impressed, dude. I think that would be cool. Something tells me that stripper pole is going to be bent be as shit. <laughs> fucking doing tricks on street signs. <laughs> like, check this out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> I saw a thing pole the other core. day. They had a, a some girls in college or something. There was a mop leaning against the wall, and the girl like tried to jump up on it and like do a little spin, and it just fucking split right in half, and she <laughs> fell like Home Alone style on her back. It was just like, oh. That's great. See, that makes me happy. Yeah, it was pretty How awesome. How about you, Derek? Underrated. Okay. Anything involving pole dancing, I think, is underrated. Do you really like strippers that do that shit? Oh, that's fucking talented as shit. I'm out. Yeah, that but I, I'm yeah. Not, I don't, it doesn't make me horny, <clears throat> though. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm I was always... very sad when I found out that the pole moves, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, they, was, they, it's not stationary. Yeah, I, I was very sad about that. It's, it's like a complex thing, dude. It's got bearings on the top and yeah. bottom, so it nice and smoothly spins. It's but it's fucking still, nuts. it's still fucking the shit that they can do on there is, it's not just necessarily arousing, but it's fucking impressive what they can do. I've went with my wife to the strip club before, and she's like, "Holy shit!" Like that girl can fucking do do her job whatever very that well. is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she can turn herself into a flag. Yeah, it's uh, it, but, like when I'm at a strip club, which I don't go to because I don't like the fakeness of it. Same. That's, I don't like yeah. when a girl's like, hey, what's up? I like your shirt. And I'm like, you don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> like you're just trying to get me to give you more money. You know, right. Exactly. So I never bought into that. But the times that I did go. Yeah, I just like to see the girl go from dressed to not dressed. Yeah. I don't need to see your athletic ability. And shit. None of that turns me on sexually, but Same. it is impressive to watch. Sure. I mean, I guess I, I so I, yeah. it's like after I come, then I would be like, all right, now do the <laughs> cool stuff. Now, now do the I, dance. Now that it's not sexual anymore. Right. All right. And last one overrated or underrated honking the horn when your wife walks in front of the car. <laughs> that is always going to be underrated. If you say overrated for this, you're a fucking liar. Yeah, I, I like a good, I don't have a wife, but I do like a good honk at whoever's who, when my friend is walking oh, in yeah. front of the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, I work at an automotive shop. This happens on a daily basis, and it still gets me, and it's still funny, even if I'm one. But, man, my wife fucking hates hates it mine too oh dude and here's the other thing we both will get out of my truck and we'll be walking in and i specifically strategically will push the lock button on my truck right when she's walking in front of it she jumps every time <laughs> fucking love it she hates it too there yeah i said underrated it's absolutely hilarious oh yeah uh today at work i didn't do the horn thing but i was walking to my car to go on break and there was a chick behind me and uh, that works there, and she was, like, doing something on her phone, and I just stopped and turned around really fast. Oh, yeah. Scared the fuck out of her, <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to a new favorite segment. This is called That's Where I Draw the Line. Uh, we have certain scenarios where we get to draw the line, and uh, if you can't figure it out, you're an idiot. All right, so first one. 
This is actually from a listener. This is from Instagram. This is Elliot Swenson. He wants to know, what is the maximum age a person should be allowed to legally drive a car? 65. 65? Yes. Whoa. Um, that's, that's the max? Yes. Ridiculous. Uh, Whoa, bro. No. And the, the cool thing is in Arizona, mm-hmm. like when you get your driver's license, like if you get it at 18 or 16 or 20, whatever age, uh, it doesn't expire until you turn 65. Okay. So they encourage you to go update your photo, mm-hmm. but it, it's, it's, I've seen them. It's, it doesn't expire. Like if I had mine, mine wouldn't expire for another fucking 24 years, which is fucking tits. <laughs> <laughs> but it also makes those people have to go in and probably retest sure. at 65. But I would say, yeah, probably 65 is when you start to draw that line. Or they can make you update <clears throat> your driver's license every 10 years where you have to go in and take a test like, in most other states. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Well, as a guy with a 92-year-old grandma who still drives, I can say that age has nothing to do with it because I know 60-year-olds who would drive way shittier than my 92-year-old grandma does. She's, I mean, she's in the 1% of 92-year-olds. There you go. But I'm saying it's not age. Age isn't the thing. Uh, not to get political, but Biden and Trump are the same age. I think one of them is a lot smarter than the other. And we don't got to argue about which one that is. But one of them clearly looks like a fucking old man. And the other is like, eh, you know, yeah, still I, would, kicking. I think they look pretty similar. But um, I would say that there is still a cutoff. I still think that I, I kind of agree with this. You have to take a test kind of thing, but I have a grandmother that's in the same situation. My grandmother is 92. My grandfather is 96, I believe. Um, no, 94. Uh, but anyways, my grandfather cannot drive, but my grandmother still drives him everywhere. Mm-hmm. And so she is 92. But the thing is, is there's a reason for that. She's a better driver. She's more, you know, capable of doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I do definitely think you need to start testing a lot more frequently when you get past, I, I would say, 80. You know, that that needs to be a cut. And I agree with the 65, Derek. I mean, I'll go with you on that. But I don't want to cut them off completely. But my yeah. grandma was worried that she they were going to make her take another driving test again. We just did it, I don't know, less than a year ago. I took her to the DMV. Yeah. And, and they just did the eye test. And she fucking nailed it. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, you're fine. And But can, people can tell when they talk to her, too, you know? Yeah. Because she looks like a 60-something-year-old. She looks like a young grandma or whatever. Sure. And then she's like, I was born in 1931. And people are like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's good. All right. Next one. Uh, That's where I draw the line. What is the maximum age for a person to still have their parents pay their cell phone bill? Well, I'm 42. Holy shit. It's not my parents because they're both dead. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. No, but I am on my sister's family plan still. Oh, my. Have been since the original iPhone came out. But you pay for it. I give her money occasionally, but <laughs> I definitely give her less money than than the amount of money it would cost if I got my own cell phone plan. Okay. But you're an aspiring comedian. Yeah, and she understands that. Okay. And she knows that one day I'll give her millions of dollars. Right. <laughs> Derek? 20. 20? Okay. I'll say 20. Okay. Once, you start, once you're legally able to buy alcohol or non-alcoholic whiskey. Yeah. Um, gotta be 21. I think at that point you can start paying for your own cell phone bill. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I hate agreeing with you. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say insurance plan 25. I, I, I'll, I'll just, I'm going to play the rules of the game. I agree with you, Derek. I would say 2021, but, uh, I also understand that there are kickbacks for family plans and stuff like that. It's making it more, more affordable. So, but I will say 25, if you were still, not paying for your shit after 25, then you better be an aspiring fucking comedian. That was close. So, oh, hey, Mike. How you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Not much. I think it's fine. I, it depends on the family <laughs> dynamic the or whatever. Yeah. You know. Like, I have friends who, like, when they turn 18, their parents are like, all right, out. <laughs> Time to go. Make a life for yourself. Oh, 20. I'm that guy. And they knew, like, when they were 15 that that was going to happen, you yeah. know? Because their parents instilled that in them like you get the fuck out of my house when you turn 18 yeah and there's other kids that are like i'm like me 
I was 28 or something before I finally got my own place. Absolutely. But I was doing comedy and stuff. Yeah, you were trying to be funny. And I stayed with girlfriends a lot. Uh, yeah. A lot of wiener going in vagina back in those days. <laughs> okay. That's right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the next one. What is the maximum age for it to still be socially acceptable to still believe in Santa Claus? Well, I'm 41. I was going to say, <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you talking about? Believe. <laughs> He's fucking real, okay? Uh, but no, seriously, uh, Derek. Jeez. <laughs> uh, for it to be socially acceptable or for it to tell your kids? Uh, well, what do you think is a, as an age that is like, holy shit. It's the he same stills- with driving. It's, it's yeah. not an age. Uh, it's an individual person thing. Nah, I think there's a cutoff for this one. I'd say like 10 or 11. I'll say 11 because I, I want to say 10. I want to say 12. I'm going to go 11. God damn, that late? I was yeah. probably about, I think I was nine or ten. I was really? ten when I was at my neighbor's house, and I was like, you know, and then we'll see what Santa brings or whatever. And my friend was like, you still believe in Santa? <laughs> and the mom was like, Bradley. <laughs> and, I, and I just remember being shocked. Like, what do you mean believe? And why are you yelling at him for saying that? And she was like, he can think whatever he wants to think. And I was like, wait, think? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> And then I remember going home and being like, Brad said Santa's not real. And my dad was like, oh, well, he's not. <laughs> and I was like, what a buzzkill. Yeah. There go my fucking cookies. No Christmas shit. Eve. But it actually made me like, I, uh, there was no disappointment in it. I immediately connected the dots and I was like, wait, so that means all the cool shit that I've been getting every year was actually you guys. Like, why wouldn't you take credit for that? I remember being impressed. Like, yeah. you just let some stranger take credit when you could have been like, I fucking worked hard and got you this stuff. And that's when you realize as a parent that you fucked up because what you should have been doing is let Santa give you the shitty gifts and the parents do the kick-ass gifts because now you're making Santa look really cool and Santa's kind of a douche and like, not really real. Santa brought me bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Santa bought me underwear again. Like that's what you should do, but uh, I see your point. I'm I'm gonna say eight. That's how old I was, and I I, I thought I was late to the party because it was first grade. You got to remember, you're five five six years old when you're in first grade, so that means I was in second to third grade by the time I was like. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. This isn't adding up. You figured it out on your own? Uh, I kind of did, yeah. I was like, all these kids are like, yeah, Santa comes down the chimney. And, I, and my mom lived in a fucking apartment. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? Yeah. You know, so I was like, does mom let him in? And that was, I think, kind of her story. But uh, it was also one of those weird situations. My mom wasn't very wealthy. I, we didn't have a lot of money and stuff like that. So she she did her best, tried to be creative, and uh, eventually like Santa I'm, brought you this can of soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, let's it all share it. It wasn't it wasn't that, but it was it was kind. Of, but I understood. But uh, but yeah, I, it just to eventually get to a point where you're like, hang the fuck on a second. Like, how does this work? And so yeah, that's what eventually what happened. All right. Everybody answer? Yep. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Next one. Where do I draw the line? How many hard shots to the nuts do you think it takes in order to make a person infertile? (sighs) All these. Make a man infertile. There you go. My bad. A, uh, it's uh, same with the other things. Come it's on, not, it's, it's play the game, God but damn it's it. It's not a number. I, what, there's a guy out there. I bet uh, uh, Steve-O or Johnny Knoxville could still have kids. But it's kind of funny that Knoxville doesn't have kids. Steve-O doesn't have Is kids. Is that true? Yes, they, none right. of them have kids. Maybe that, maybe So it's, here's the question. <laughs> This is where the question comes but I, from. But there's still a guy out there who got kicked perfectly in the nuts once okay. and now can't have kids anymore. All right. So it could be as low as one or it could be as high as a hundred or more. I don't think a hundred times we're going to miss the well, stop. Well, let's, tr- let's try it. All right, Derek. Kick, kick me in the nuts a hundred times, Derek. <laughs> and then see. I'm going to go have sex with somebody. And and see, nice. And see if you can impregnate. Penis is in the vagina. There, yeah, we, go. there <laughs> we go. P in the V. I yeah. have a feeling I wouldn't want to have sex with anybody after my hundredth oh, nut. No. We can't plan it, though. <laughs> no. They were all in be, a row. It's got to be a it's surprise. Be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just going to be some chick that jumps out of a cake <laughs> like, surprise, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ugh. 
<laughs> balls hurt. <laughs> Makes my stomach hurt. Have you seen that video? I don't know why I thought about this. Have you seen that video of the soccer goalie that keeps on getting kicked in the face on a penalty shot? I think I have. Okay, yeah. can you imagine that? Instead of being into the face, just being in the nuts. Just every just time. Just every time. Like, I think that's the maximum. I think hardcore shots to the nuts. I think if you've got maybe six that's it you're probably not having kids that would be a, a cool like bruce almighty thing to like sit in the stands and do that shit like oh he did yeah with a weatherman and just have everything <laughs> hit <laughs> yeah. a guy in the yes. nuts you know like, exactly like I'd a be dude down drops his wallet and it just fucking tumbles and jumps up and just oh hits the fucking guy in the nuts absolutely every foul ball is just like goes way up here and then somehow zoop over yeah. here and, oh <laughs> right damn right i didn't even nuts. didn't even look like it was headed towards me absolutely how about you Derek? how many times Oh, God, I don't know, 100? Huh? You said 100, too. God damn it. What do you think it is? I said, I think, like, 8. I think, like, it's a low number. If you get hit, like, hardcore in the balls, that really fucks them up. I yeah. mean, are you ever getting hit in the balls and, like, it? you feel it in your stomach and you start vomiting because of it? I've never vomited oh, from dude. a ball hit. I did once. Oh, really? When I was a kid, yeah, I did Yeah, dude, oh. it's not... It, it, yeah, that's probably one of the most I mean it's worse than having a baby. I saw a thing the other day where there were some teenagers and uh the, on one of those uh, merry-go-round things. Oh, not, yeah. not the electronic ones with the horses, but just the thing the that, you, that the dad can spin, you oh, know. Yeah. And they're all holding on and slowly this guy's just like like twister, you know, like just hanging on and oh, yeah. his arm so he lets go does like a full spin flies and then hits like the jungle gym thing just directly <laughs> on his nuts it was like he flew like 20 feet and then it was just like boom like right on oh dude and i watched it like three times and every time i was like <laughs> yeah. that's how you know it hurts is whatever it hurts you yeah and, and you're just sitting there watching it that's but, oh. that's why i'm glad whoever's in charge of what goes on the internet has done a pretty good job I saw an interview with, uh, it was either Bob Saget or Tom Bergeron, but they were talking about the videos that people send in to America's Funniest Home Videos. Mm -hmm. And he was like, dude, 75% of them will either make you cry or make you like disgusted. Mm -hmm. The shit that people send in, people breaking bones and oh, shit. Oh God, and, yeah, I can't do that. And but, so I'm glad like it, when something trends on the internet, usually it's like, oh man, like <laughs> It's just a guy going, oh, but he's fine yeah. a few minutes later. That We don't see real violence very often, and that's good. Yep, lucky. <laughs> okay, and last one. Where do you draw the line? What is the maximum age an adult male can can be before he must stop plugging his nose before jumping into a pool? <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize how absolutely, like, I, I don't even know, controversial this is. Like, some people are like, well, I have to plug my nose so I don't take water into my nose. Right. And so they legitimately think that. I, I was can imagine, like, an Olympic diver, like, uh -huh. at the very yeah, top. Exactly. And he's just like. Yeah. <laughs> Doing all those yeah. flips and all shit flips while his holding nose, his nose. Yeah, one well, arm going in the pool. Like. <laughs> well, they, and they have those, like, nose plugs that yeah. you get. That no, they around. don't work. Yeah. They, you got to. I went through some phases of that. My first was hold my nose, and then friends made fun of me for that. And then my other friend was like, you just got to breathe out of your nose like as you're hitting the water. I think you're breathing in or something. Mm -hmm. So then I breathed out as I fell in the water and then came up with just snot all <laughs> over. And I was like, well, this isn't better. <laughs> So I learned there's it's an in-between. Don't breathe in, don't breathe out. Just fucking yeah. just hold it. Don't let anything in. Seal it. I'll go with I'll go with twelve as well. I think that's a good happy medium. You're you're athletic enough. You should know your body enough at that point. You're getting ready to hit puberty. So you probably should know how to be able to not suck in a bunch of water when you jump in. I so was definitely fun. that kid though, plenty of times. I, I was too when I was younger. I had plenty of like <laughs> <laughs> like terrible traumatic pool moments and three feet of water or whatever. My I, dad's like, stand up. Oh man, there are still like adults that do this shit today. Mm -hmm. Like full blown yeah, forty I've year old it. men. You've I've seen, seen it? it? Who yes. do you know that does it? I'm not calling anybody out, uh, but okay. I've seen it. Just people. Oh, people yes. that are like sitting in an inner tube and everything's fine. And then they fall out and they're like, oh, oh, oh <laughs> somebody help. I Speaking of maximum ages, I don't know what age kids do stuff at. Like, yeah, yeah, that's it's funny, I think, in conversation, because 
like an example is a buddy of mine. Like I, his, I, I hate kids, but I like his kids. Okay. And uh, his son at the time was like, I think four. And I was like, hey, man, I said, uh, if you ever want, like if you're working or something, because back then I was working nights and I was working like three nights a week. And I was like, if you ever want like uh, someone to grab Cam or something, and I'll take him, like take him to the zoo or some shit. Like I'll hang out with him or something like that. And he's like, man, he'd really like that. He loves you. That'd be cool. And I was like, wait a minute. Can he wipe his own ass? <laughs> and he's like, he's four. And I went, so. <laughs> he's like, no, dude. And I'm like, oh, well, when he gets a little older, if you ever want him to take him to the zoo or anything, or like, how old's your daughter? Oh, she's one. Cool. Is she walking, talking? Like, I don't fucking know what age they do that shit. Yeah. Oh, going to be a freshman, huh? Yeah, I remember 25. <laughs> Good times. Shit. All right. Well, that is, uh, that's where I draw the line. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions for this one, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or at L O T sidelines on Twitter slash X. Now we're going to move on to questions and preguntas. I like these this week. Uh, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. Uh, first question, because of my life experiences, I became a motivational speaker for blank killing yourself. Nice. Yeah. Good job. I like to think so. Life yeah. got you down. Try bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Just one squeeze away. Come with gun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was much more positive in mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I used to, you know, play fantasy football with you for a really long time mm-hmm. and I didn't really care. And, uh, I, I, you know, paid attention for the most part, but. I uh, I started doing a podcast with you, and you started treating me like shit for like four years. Mm-hmm. And so in justified, the, yeah. And so after about a year and a half, I thought to myself and was like, "Huh, how can I like emotionally wreck him and break him, and that is beat him so badly in something that he created with his group of friends three years in a row." And then he eventually quit and said it was rigged because he is a sore loser. So but that's what happened. Fantasy football is not why I quit watching football. See, this is what he does to himself. This is what he does. Denies <laughs> See, this is what he denies. Huh? He's like, oh, it's rigged. The no! AFC Championship and Super Bowl were why I quit he watching pouts. football. He's I don't a, even remember who was in either of those. He's, yeah. a, he's an only Focus child. On the future. Oh, yeah. How about you there, Mike? Oh, anyone that isn't me. I can solve any problem for him. Really? I'm perfect at knowing what other people ought to do with their lives. Sure. If I see a person walking a dog, I'm like, you're not doing that right. <laughs> like, watch one fucking episode of The Dog Whisperer and implement. <laughs> oh, is that people, how? It? When I see people with, uh, with poorly uh, behaved children, mm-hmm. I'm just like, my kids would never do that. <laughs> I could be a motivational speaker about how people need to, if I, you know, see a fat drunk dude that's like, I just don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I'm like, fucking four things, dude. <laughs> do all four of them every day. I'll tell you exactly what they are. Quit being a piece of shit. And mm. then I go home and lay in my recliner in my underwear and eat chips off my belly <laughs> and watch suits. There you go. And I'm like, those guys need to get their lives together. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Trigger a fan base with one sentence. Oh, it says no politics. It sure and does. I'm going to erase what I wrote. Uh huh. That's we'll, why I put it there. I didn't see that part. Though. Uh-huh. I was just excited. You go first, Eric. I'll think. I'll go. I'll go first. You go first. Right. I don't know if I really have anything for this. LeBron James isn't even in my top ten. I'm fine with that, but I'm not part of the fan base. Oh no, that hurts people's feelings. I know. One person in particular that is going to comment on this episode and be like, oh, 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 "Come on, man! That's you know that's bullshit." I'm like, no. Oh, I have one. I have a I sentence that would make people say something like that. Okay. Uh, Nintendo Switch is the best video game platform out there. Yeah, you're wrong. I I, I would say that you're wrong on that. It's one. better than PS4 or five. The or four what? maybe, but five no. No, nope. no, you're you're PlayStation's you know, you're piece crazy. of shit. You're fucking crazy. Dog. I like my video games American made. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> How about you, Derek? The NFL is scripted. Oh yeah, there it that, goes. There they go. They oh god damn it, no it ain't. No, it's just no. It, I don't even think that gets them triggered. They just go. Oh, it does too. No, they just go. Are you fucking retarded? Oh no. I don't think it's scripted. I think that there are multiple ways that you can impact 
uh, how a game ends. Scripted, no. Influenced, maybe. Influenced, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like officials and shit they like tell that. Them, they know who is supposed to win. I don't think so. They're like, you You make sure you call. You need to make sure Mahomes wins this game. I don't care if you have to call penalties. No, see, I don't think it's that far. Yeah, I don't think it is I don't, either. I, don't either. I, I, think think I think those are the people that go, come the fuck I imagine on. they pull one ref aside, show him a picture of his eight-year-old <laughs> in front of his house or whatever, and they're like, listen, man, sure would be terrible if fucking Chiefs lost today. No. And then that one guy's like, fuck. I, all I, right. I agree that they like the officials are like uh, how they were to, all right, fine, LeBron, Kobe. Jordan, Shaq, yeah. all those guys. I think it's just like it's like okay, he gets some of the calls and that kind of shit. But it's not like okay, who wins, who loses. I think there's there's obviously some respect for the game because if there weren't, if there weren't, then then you would have gambling and all this other shit there. absolutely go up in smoke. And so there's no way. So, but that's, that's that. The problem is it's everybody gambles on it. So. Oh my god! Uh, all right, next one. What do you think animals at the zoo are thinking when people are staring at them? If this glass wasn't here, I'd fuck you up. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was going to say. I, I just I can just see like a silverback gorilla and just go, if that motherfucker bangs on his chest one more fucking time, I'm coming through the goddamn glass. That's what I'm thinking. How about Mike? I just feel like they were are thinking like, is that person going to let me out? Are they going to? Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Are they going to they, they let me out? Oh, no. Nope. That's actually a really good question. Like, what do you think of your dog whenever he's, like, taking a shit and he's just, like, staring at you? He's making sure that you're watching his back. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. That's, okay. I've actually read a thing about that. I have, too. Dogs that. are in the wild. And they make eye contact with somebody else, and then that dog is looking around and shit. Okay. So they know if they see that dog, be like, whoop, then that one's got to be like, all right, pinch <laughs> it off. I'm, I'm fucking, fucking doing that <laughs> now. <laughs> My dog will start taking a shit, and I'm just going to take off running. <laughs> And then you're going to have shit on your kitchen floor eventually because <laughs> your dog's going to be like, you made me stop halfway through. Uh, that's good shit. Uh, next question. Which fictional character would complain the most? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Which, which fictional character would complain the most during a therapy section? I immediately think of Lewis from Suits. <laughs> that's act, there's like whole episodes based on that. But. Well, well, I mean, like cartoon <laughs> character is what I was thinking. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, I was thinking of, I immediately thought of Wiley e. Coyote. Like, I, like he just tries disappointed everything. <laughs> he straps dynamite to shit. He gets rockets. He does everything just to get a bird. Yeah. as a meal. Right. Use your fucking resources a lot better, buddy. Just quit complaining about it and get other shit to eat. That's I, yeah, I feel like he could have spent a lot of his dynamite money on food. Food, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And just like been friends with the Roadrunner. Exactly. I think so too. Uh, how about you, Derek? Well, I had a real one, which was John Wick. Oh yeah. At like, therapy, they fucking killed my dog. I oh, had to kill two hundred and sixty-eight people. <laughs> you're like, how did that make you feel? And you're like, well, the people I killed doesn't affect me at all, but the dog was cute <laughs> Beca because my wife gave it to me and then she died. Yeah, no, she gave it. She knew she was dying yeah. and like ordered him one. Yeah. And was like, all right, here, take care. I, that part bothered me a little bit. <laughs> the wife getting the dog? Yeah, it's okay. like, I know I'm dead, but here's some more responsibility for you, courtesy of me. <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> Jesus. And he's like, I don't want a fucking dog. So inconsiderate. If you don't want, if, if you want something different, then I would say like Mario. Yeah. Because he keeps going and this, she's never in the castle. She's always in a different fucking cast. That's a good point. I've jumped over goddamn fireballs, fucking turtles with goddamn spikes in their shells. How many castles are there? Yeah. Like, you would think, just go to the biggest one first. Yeah. Dude. Why Be are you going to these little stupid castles? I wanted to see the Irish countryside. I would have went to fucking Ireland. That's right. <laughs> And being a Zelda fan, I'm actually pretty shocked. I mean, Link, how many times does he have to rescue that goddamn princess? Well, in the latest one, they sort of work as a team. Oh, is that right? It's pretty interesting. Okay, well, I'll let it slide. Tears of the Kingdom. Or Eeyore, he'd be depressed as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what about somebody that's like, that isn't famously depressing? 
like just a totally happy character. Oh, those are normally the ones who are the most depressed. That's Mickey. what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like Mickey. Oh Mickey God, has. Mickey would be fucking pissed. He would be in the th- oh God, complaining about what they're doing to that fucking company. <laughs> All these goddamn people at Disneyland are pissing me off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was waiting for the impression. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um, that's okay. It was good. Uh, and last but not least. What are some things ghosts would complain about? <laughs> Having to watch people masturbate. <laughs> like that. I don't think they have to, though. No, but like. <laughs> like I don't think, they, I don't think they, they're I mean, bound yes, they by anything. No, like oh, yeah, they do. Like if they're like, oh, your father's watching over you. I'm like, could he like not watch this next like 20 <laughs> minutes? Can like, you just go watch Sports Center upstairs or something? Like I've got some shit I got to take care of real quick. Yeah, I don't know why it's always been told, but like they're confined to that same area, so they can't leave. They so can it's at like, least turn around. <laughs> it's like a residual haunting, and here I am. <laughs> Maybe they jerk off too at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, they can feel whatever energy you're feeling. So which, if you're scared, they're going to be scary. If you're jerking off, they're going to get horny. <laughs> which leads into my answer, which is ugly people having sex or <laughs> masturbating. So if they had to uh, look at their jerking it in the corner that would be uh that'd be a pretty big complaint or remind me to complaint. facetime you later <laughs> I, I don't would, want it i feel like food would be one of my biggest complaints because they I can't was a eat ghost. yeah they're, i know either that or they eat ghost food which what is that i mean it's food to them dead it's like that rick and morty it's episode celery. where he's, <laughs> he's like a uh, uh hologram or whatever yeah and he has a bucket of chicken and morty's like why are you eating fake chicken and he's like it's very real to me thank you <laughs> he's like what did you eat today and he's like a sandwich and whatever and he's like oh so no holographic foods so to me you didn't eat <laughs> funnier when rick said it that's but. okay uh, good shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at LOT sidelines on X slash Twitter uh, or at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Fuck yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Right, Derek? No. No, it's not that. What is that, silence? It's not that how you yeah. said it. Oh, yeah, that's the draft, man. There we go. That, yeah. no, that you pushed a button, but I did push a happened. button. Oh, that's because I turned yours off, so Sweet. you didn't hear it. Yeah. I like that. I know. I did it on purpose. I love it. Anyways. Uh, it, you so, just made a noise that I've never heard before. What was that? Do that again. I don't know. I'm just pushing buttons over here. It was the applause. It I was, was kidding. I know. The joke was that I no know. one's ever applauded for me. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, last week's draft, uh, I, uh, I, I eked it out. It was very, very close, but I had to factor in the Twitter votes uh, for this one in particular. All of us were actually very close. Um, but uh, I think, uh, actually, I take that back. Now that I think about it, I think actually Mike won. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it, because me, me, you, and JP were all it was really neck and neck the whole fucking way. Yeah, I saw it was like 43 to 42 at one point. Yeah, um, I think I was the first logo on the on the deal for Facebook, and then I got the lowest percentage I think out of all of us on Twitter. So I, I'll uh, I'll give I'll give Mike the the I'll, championship. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch these up here because I thought I won, but I'm I think Mike deserves his first championship. I think you get the championship picks this week, Mike. Uh, last week's draft was um, sequel movies that were better than the original. Um, but uh, yeah, so Mike, you win that one. Uh, and so uh, this week's draft are going to be the draft of the worst sounds. Okay? Mm-hmm. Understand? Cool. I get the first um, worst sound, and that is going to be nails on a chalkboard. What's that? Oh, God. Oh, it's, God. That's, that's, yeah, I've never heard that before. Yep. Any, any sound that... Um, 
makes you have a bodily reaction. My teacher used to have yikes. My teacher's wedding ring would scratch yeah. every yeah. once in a while. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know what nails on a chalkboard are. Oh I was, I was man, kidding. that's yeah, it's bad. That's that one will when make her ring everybody. would hit it. Yeah, I, was oh, like, I can hear it and not hear it. Uh, Derek, you get second pick. Your sandwich picks this week. What do you got? Dennis drill. Ooh yeah. That's a good one, man. Uh, I was just at the fucking dentist. Oh, oh I hate that. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. I can't do it. I don't know how the people that work at the dentist's office do it. They're just like, all right. No, like, no. Oh, it's bad. Uh, Mike, you get two in a row. You get championship picks, man. Um, all right. My first pick is going to be, uh, is it too generic to just say eating sounds? Uh, no, that's fine. Just people smacking food is what I would call that. All right. Then I'll take that one. Okay. And I'm going to go with, uh, I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> Why? You should. But I, well, I don't want to be a dick yet. I'll okay. Oh, okay. I have a good one. Uh, snoring. Damn oh, it. God damn it. Damn it. Was that, did I steal one from yeah. you guys? Good job. Uh, no, you didn't steal one from me, but I feel terrible. My wife seats, sleeps on a different bed sometimes because I am so loud when I snore. Have you tried taping your mouth shut? It's <laughs> um, <laughs> a real thing. Uh, I No, I haven't, but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, if, I, I now that bad. you don't have a, a strong beard, you could totally use duct tape, but they have an actual product that sticks to either your face or your beard that will force you to keep your mouth closed all night. Oh. And the first, from the things that I've read, the first 10 minutes or so are like sort of panicky because you're like, fuck, man. Mm -hmm. But after you get used to it, then you just fall asleep and you wow. sleep all night and you sleep deeper and uh, you don't fucking choke on your phlegm mm -hmm. that right. causes you to snore, you know? Gotcha. Derek, you get your second pick, dude. Uh a screaming baby. Oh, damn it. That's a fucking good one. That's what I was trying to think of a way to say <laughs> without oh. being a dick. I, my, the, the word I was going to say was children or yeah. babies or whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is now. And it's, it's kids from like, that are like six, five, four, like, their playing is screaming now. Like yeah. we didn't do that, but they'll like they'll run and just scream at the top of their lungs. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, I hear that in my apartment complex every once in a while. I'll mm -hmm. hear like, a, I'm like, all right, that kid's either being kidnapped and murdered or playing with her best friend. Yeah. So let's listen a little bit longer. And I think I heard a laugh. So yeah. we're good. We're probably good. She was kidnapped by a clown. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to go with my first pick, uh, and I think we all can agree with this one, and that is our alarm clocks in the morning. Yeah. Really? I mean, I haven't. I don't set them very often. Oh, so. that's why you don't fucking hate it. That yeah. makes perfect sense. Are you going chat GPT? <laughs> Maybe it's <laughs> Jesus it's a good re it's a good reminder. It's a big. It's been a long time since I've had to consistently set an alarm uh -huh. so up against Chat GPT. That's nice. Yeah, uh, I am. Well, there better download it. Yeah, you better pass. Uh, I I am also going to go with one that comes from my my field of work. I think that it's definitely honest. Um, car alarms. Okay. Mm. Car alarms, absolutely. The, the people that push the panic button, but with, at a dealership, what happens is some asshole has a set of keys and pushes the panic button and is looking for something out on the lot whenever that vehicle is actually inside of the store mm -hmm. going ape shit and they're still out there looking. So everybody's scrambling to go and find that person with the keys and say, hey, it's inside, you fuck face. Turn the goddamn alarm off. That's you, you should be able to, to yell into the car. <laughs> and then the sound will come out of the of remote. The key? Yeah. Be like, dude, I'm standing next to your car. Quit hitting the fucking button. Oh man, it drives me nuts. Derek, your next pick. Uh the smoke detect the smoke detector oh, chirp. That's another good one. Just the chirp. The chirp. Yeah. The chirp. Yeah. The beep. 
Yeah, just <laughs> that that thing. The thing in in uh, amateur porno movies that people just don't <laughs> change that annoys the shit out of Jeremy. <laughs> that always reminds me of uh, Love Line with Adam and Doctor Drew because they would uh, somebody would call in and be like, you know, my life's falling apart and this and that, and every thirty seconds, cheap in the background, uh, and Adam's like, all right, I'll tell you the first thing that you need to do. <laughs> and every time they're like, what noise are you talking about? And they're like, you don't even fucking hear that. <laughs> oh my How God. do you not hear it? Yeah, that's a damn good one. Mine is right outside of my bathroom. So if I take a hot shower, I have to sit with the door closed and the fan on for a few extra seconds. Other, if I open my door, the steam from the shower causes yep. my fire alarm to go off. Yeah, yep. downstairs it does that for us. Ridiculous. Mike, you get two in a row, dude. I'm going uh, silverware scraping Damn on a plate. It. Damn it. That was one I was going to hope come back. Okay. A- and then uh, I don't want to get too specific, so I'm going to say uh, microphone feedback. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good a, one. I was going to say like silence from an audience or something, but I feel like a generic Tom, Dick, or Harry reading that Tom, would, be Dick like, or Harry. would be like, I don't care if an audience doesn't make noise. But I do. Oh, jeez. Okay, Derek, one more. Uh, or you got just this one, and then you get another one. But come, yeah, my dog licking itself. All right, that's gross. That's that's that has a sound. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It sounds the exact same as when the dog's licking you. Oh. Uh, okay. Not, I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> A dog licking his own balls sounds just like a dog licking your balls. It just drives me fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am going to go with uh, something that it, it, it will wake me up in the middle of the night if I hear it, and that is somebody or a dog puking, like getting ready to throw up. Okay. That uh, and that's human or pet. I don't care, but a throw up noise is just awful. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I've heard <sighs> that. I've been woken up from cats doing that oh, in my life. So, it's so fucking. Ugh. And I have one that's on my honorable mention, but it's actually like one of my favorite noises. We'll but save it. I know we're gonna save it till after we all pick ours. I'm I'm going to go uh la- my last pick is going to be also one that you may or may not have experienced but I'm going to go with uh like an air hammer banging on shit like it it's it's ridiculously loud in an automotive shop so is I'm Is that like go. air guitar where you're just like No, it's compressed air and it's just brrr, and it's fucking loud and it it drives me fucking bonkers. Derek, your last pick. A single cricket. <laughs> <laughs> a single cricket or a screaming cricket? <laughs> a, a single cricket. Oh, okay. Where you don't know where it's at, <laughs> and you're just sitting there, and you hear... <laughs> <laughs> fucking drives me nuts. Yep, I can agree with that, dude. And, uh, it, and, and the first like few times, you can shout it quiet. You yeah. Know? Be like, hey! And the cricket's like, oh, shit, who, where, who's that? Where's that? But after three or four times, the cricket's like, you ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and Mike, your last and final pick. I don't know if this is too similar to Derek's dog answer, but I, I want to just say generic is squelching a word. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Wet squelching sounds. I have no idea what wet, wet squelching is. That, that like sounds squ- like a... Squeaky that sounds, felching. Squelching. Yeah, that sounds like a sexual term. It, it mostly is, but it's also <laughs> like uh, like if somebody's uh, eating buffalo wings and they... That's, uh, oh, that's mouth noises, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also fingering noise, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the same noise. Yeah. Oh, well, will that get taken down? Squelchy? <laughs> fingering. <laughs> God damn, I don't know if that guy's fucking trolling uh, around in some pussy or just got done eating buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, son of a bitch. Either way, I want to fucking eat Buffalo Wild. <laughs> I know, I'm hungry. 
damn it. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> sorry. Were you going to say wet squelching noises? No, sorry. I wasn't. I do. I did have one. If I can change my last pick, <laughs> you can't change it. I can't change but it. You can tell us and we I, can God damn it, agree a, that you a, made a giant mistake. A dripping faucet. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. That I, don't, I, something. I feel like you're not missing out by not having that on your list. The though. air hammer, although I don't, I think that's not. Not enough people know how fucking loud that thing is, but it, when it's banging on like you can just parts, say tools in general uh, or like power tools. Power tools are awesome. Air hammers fucking suck. They're louder than shit. Yeah, or like a jackhammer. Jackhammers again. They're fucking loud, but they're fucking awesome. Air hammers just are annoying. They just fucking. They, I hate them. Uh, but the one I was gonna think about, like car accidents. Car accidents oh, is one of those. Great noise. But see, that's the thing. It's a great noise. But if it ha- if you're in said car, it's a terrible noise. Yeah, you it's don't really awful. hear the noises when you're in the car, though. You're just yeah. thinking like, oh fuck. Uh, it's kind of one of those things, though, that like if you're at if you're like in a parking lot and you're walking out to your car, and then that noise happens in the vicinity of where you are parked, it right. is not a good noise. That just that example alone reminds me of a uh, Dane Cook talking about do you remember his uh-uh, thing uh-uh. he's like sometimes you'll just be sitting there watching tv oh and yes you'll hear yes. like and then you run wait. to the window and he's like oh fuck i thought that was gonna hit <laughs> scotty would you be the golfer i'm surprised you didn't say somebody screaming for no because you want that to be happening if they don't scream for and then you get hit then you're pissed but somebody screaming for is very very helpful i just wish i could learn how to drive the ball and then i would just play behind somebody and just keep hitting it at them. It's a lot harder than you think. Or a lot harder than it looks. Just, I would love to absolutely mash the shit out of a golf ball at some people that have played in front of me over this whose, last weekend. Whose joke is that? Is that Mitch Hedberg where he's like, I never got a hole in one, but I did hit a guy. <laughs> yeah, that is Mitch Hedberg. Yes. Like, that seemed way more impressive <laughs> to me. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, any other honorable mentions that you guys can think of? Oh, feedback was a really popular one. Emergency sirens was one. Tornado sirens. Uh, no, I love those. Those are great. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, it's just something about living in the Midwest with tornadoes coming. The up. Like, fucking Whoa. amber alert noise on your phone. That oh, is kind of annoying. Yeah. That is kind of annoying. Fuck. I turn them off. <laughs> I I leave them on because I just want to know because yeah. the amber alerts and the silver alerts are in the same yeah. alert mm-hmm. category. You can't turn off one or the other. Oh, uh, that's the fucking most. And, and everybody's phone goes off all at the same time. Yeah, oh, except yeah. mine because I'm like, fuck that kid. Yeah. I know people are like, why isn't yours <laughs> going off? And you're like, because I don't care about children. Yeah. yeah. Damn um, it! I was thinking of something. Not what, my pig. Not my farm. What were we saying before <laughs> you said that? Oh, I don't know. That's gone now. That's gone now. Damn it. Car accidents. Oh, no. You were like, what are some other honorable mentions? And one would be my mom going, Michael Joseph. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. I I heard that a thousand times. Just my my mother's voice. My, especially at a sporting event, it's very high pitched and shrieky and it makes people do the uh, thing. Oh, it's bad. No, my mom was definitely like she was. She was the mom that everybody else loved, and I was just like, you don't even know. <laughs> she was, But she was never mean or anything. Yeah. But just that alone, yelling my name would be enough to be, make me be like, fuck. I'll do it, man. What did I do wrong? I'll do it. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is our uh, draft of the worst sounds. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list that has the worst sounds on it that you like the most. Uh, or you can go to Twitter, which is at LOT sidelines vote there as well. I count those votes as well. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation brought to you again by BattlecornCarePackages.com. This is it. This is the one. August 26th, their Gold Tie Masquerade. That is this weekend. Uh, do us a favor. If you haven't already yet, go to BattlecornCarePackages.com. Uh, I know they have reached their goal. Everything that they are getting from that donation is going to um, I believe it is uh, pediatric cancer, and, and that is a good good thing, obviously. Curtis and his family with BattlecornCarePackages.com. It's a great, great um, cause, so definitely look them up, BattlecornCarePackages.com. 
com. Fuck yeah. Yeah, man. Now we get to move on to the uh, shitty situation, which this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is coming from Mike. Um, we talked about Santa Claus earlier, so I think the would you rather have to go around and tell children that Santa's not real or go around and convince adults that he, in fact, is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... Uh... This is a miracle on 34th Street kind of a thing. Yeah, you can either be a dick or you can be a fucking crazy weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are basically, that should just be the question. Yeah, would you rather be, be a dick or weird? <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, I, this one actually isn't that hard for me, man. What would you do? Oh, I'm a prick. I hate kids. You, I, I, I am them. ruining their lives. I don't care. I mean, out of the womb, I'm just. Waiting in the baby room, just being like, hey, don't let these fuckers tell you the Santa Claus is real. I feel like telling a three-year-old that isn't as traumatic, though, as telling a nine-year-old. Uh, even a nine-year-old? Wow. Or, you know, seven or whatever. Okay. Just like, hey, you know that thing you believe in? Total bullshit. <laughs> like, what? Your parents fucking lied what to you. What are you talking about? But there's so many kids that believe in Santa Claus that I would actually get a lot of joy of watching their face just all of the sudden just the life gets sucked out of that it. That would be cool if you were a motivational speaker and, <laughs> and you had like an assembly of yes. third graders in front oh, of you. Oh, man. And you're like, how many people know that Santa's not real? And, and you see like just... three hands go up and all the other kids just look what? at each other. What? Oh, man. I'm. Oh, yeah. I am telling kids Santa's not real. Yeah. I feel like it would be a lot easier for me emotionally to just be like, oh, yeah, no, Santa's real. And have my 40-year-old friend be like, are you fucking kidding, dude? And I'm like, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, that would be a lot easier to, because I feel like most fellow 40-year-olds would be like, all right, dude. They're not going to be like, wait, all right, so explain this to me. <laughs> I, I don't, now that you're saying it like that, I do you think that there are some people out there that's like, Oh my God, is he really like real? I don't like, think there are like once because that's whenever the 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 happiness gets drawn out of your life. I think that's the cutoff point. I bet there's. I bet it has happened <sighs> in history where uh, like a mom bought a thing for the kid or the dad, but the other one didn't know about it. They put it from Santa. I bet there was a moment where the parent that didn't buy the thing was like, holy fuck, did you get that? And the dad was like, no, I didn't get it. And they're like, oh, my God, is he real? I'm sure that's happened. Oh, I'm history. sure it is. I know. I but, like how we're talking about Santa, and then I'm going to walk outside, and it's going to be 100 and fuck out there. <laughs> well, at least I got my hot coffee. I'm looking at a goddamn coffee cup with snowy mountains. <laughs> and we're no talking about Santa Claus. Yeah, it is. Keep going. Uh, there's a volcano. Keep going. There's yeah. that right there. Yeah, there's mountains. So. Well, that's just a mountain. It's Muffin Mountain, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to say Scooter's Coffee is the best <laughs> coffee that you can get at a place called Scooter's. Yeah. Uh, but no, Derek, what do you think? What would you enjoy the most? Well, I love being a dick to kids. Yeah, I know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, convincing. I just want people to think I'm fucking nuts. <laughs> hey, we already do. They'll stop talking to me. Uh, B, uh, I will be the life of any party. You got, you got to talk to this guy about fucking Santa. <laughs> right? No, he Hang legit on. believes. Dude, he gave me a whole PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> <laughs> he I, says he knows the guy. <laughs> I mean, I hope that he's real. I hope that there's a magic man that can deliver gifts. I yeah. hope. I hope he's not because I've been getting. Fucked for like because you stop believing. Years. Yeah, because you don't believe. You don't believe. He uh, knows that shit. He sees you when you're sleeping and all that kind of stuff, which I always thought was really fucking creepy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it's for children though. It's like don't ever do anything wrong because he'll know. He'll know. I think it's like he I, also watches dog shit <laughs> just so <laughs> they can well, he can watch their back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. making eye contact. <laughs> <with> <laughs> <them>. <laughs> He's like, here's a biscuit. Oh, oh, oh. oh and then Jesus off. Christ. <laughs> Who's a good boy? 
I mean, <laughs> you can have is, a staring contest with your fucking dog. This is mostly shit. unrelated, but I'll tell you the thing that my grandma's been worried about lately. She has a, a little dog. It's a uh, Bashan, if you know what that Bichon is. Bashan Frise. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And uh, she sees hawks up in the trees uh-huh. every once in a while. So she won't even let the dog out by itself. Like she's out there with, and I don't know what she thinks she's going to do. She's not going to sprint to the dog and like <laughs> fight off a hawk. If a hawk comes down and takes it, then it's just got her. I yeah. had a friend. I think that's how they lost their dog. Really? Yeah. And they small witnessed dog, it or they, they let the dog out when they got home. It was a real small, like Yorkie let the dog out when they got home, uh, 15 or five, 10 minutes later, go to let it back in. It's gone gates closed nobody no motion detectors or anything got set off that somebody was in their yard it's just gone that's scary dude yeah Mm -hmm. i'm just glad there's not pterodactyls anymore oh yeah totally that would definitely hinder our advancement as a society (laughs) (laughs) right if like every thousandth person just got taken did you hear what happened to Tom? <laughs> he got dactyl, dude. He sure did. That's why they call him Pterodactyl Tom. You got to have this fucking dactyl whistle, man. Yeah, it scares right. him off every time. I sure bet there does. would be some sort of noise. <laughs> yeah. that would, I'd carry my chalkboard around with me and just fucking <laughs> scratch. And the pterodactyl's like, no. That's my least favorite sound. Absolutely. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation. Guys, I had a great time with both of you today. Thanks. Really did. I had an all right time. Mike, good to see you. Yeah. Hey, you too, buddy. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. And then uh, Derek is going to be on vacation for, I believe, the next several weeks, if I remember. Well, I got baseball, baseball vacation. Baseball, baseball vacation. When you say baseball, you're coaching? No, I do the announcing. You're announcing. He is coaching inside of the press box. Sometimes I think I could do a better job. (laughs) That's besides the point. God damn. It. I feel like an announcing baseball is one of the like I I look at baseball announcer the same way that non comedians look at comedy, which is just like, well, I could fucking do that. You probably could. But but I'm somewhere in your head, you're like, well, there's a lot more to it than that, Mike. There it's is. not just it's not that bad. I had to do it one weekend. It wasn't that bad. Wasn't okay. that hard. Wasn't you that want hard. to fill in for me the two days? Fuck no. Sure I not. will. <laughs> not that uh, bad. Not no. Bad. Fuck no. I don't want to fill no, in. I just don't want it. I feel like that every, like in, what was that, Major League or something? Maybe it wasn't Major League. It, there's like one announcer that's very into all of the details, that's, and then there's just one that's like, holy fuck, did you see how hard he hit that? <laughs> yeah. That's radio. Yeah, that's yeah. the color guy. That's, that's you color, got the color guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, color guy, straight guy. <laughs> yeah. It's, kind of, uh, it's the kind of the same thing. Best but. line in Major League is still the whole fucking one hit. <laughs> One, one goddamn, goddamn hit. hit. Like you can't say goddamn on the air. I know he's fucking, fucking listening. listening. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what was that guy's name? Bob, Bob Uker. Uker. Bob Uker. Good old Bob. He's still alive. <clears throat> yeah. Is he? He's yeah. still alive. He I like this for the Brewers. I like mm-hmm. Norm McDonald's story about him, and I don't remember what it even is now, but I know I liked it a lot. <laughs> Bob Uker is a uh, is a stamp on this show. He's been uh, implemented many times, so in, in person. So. <clears throat> well, let's invite him on the show. Yeah, let's see, <laughs> let's see if he'll drive all the way down there. I'm pretty sure he's oh. 90. Too. I'll go pick him up. Okay, sounds good. If I'm good at anything, it's chauffeur and 92 year olds around. <laughs> there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Guys, do us a favor, as we always like to say. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us... Uh, we hope that when you die, you're forced to spend eternity as a ghost watching your relatives masturbate. <laughs> oh, my God. That's very specific. <laughs> if you don't like us... You tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Make it a blockbuster night. <laughs> oh, God. Until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>